Most of the time I don't buy videos revolve around an issue with the product or a design flaw that kind of completely prevents me from recommending it in its entirety. This time, the issues are not with the product, it's mainly with the software attached to the product that's required to use, you know, that product. The Razer Tartarus V2, and as far as I know, the Razer Orb Weaver, the Razer Tartarus Pro, all have an issue with the Razer Tartarus software that has been complained about for over a year, and no one's done anything about it up until a couple of months ago, and even to this day, there is not a fix yet. A bug that causes your D-pad, and occasionally your keys, to stick. So you'll be walking in Minecraft, having, you know, a nice peaceful day, and then all of a sudden, you're walking off the side of a fucking cliff and calling Razer support who are telling you this is the first time they've heard of this issue. Some people don't experience this issue and I'm assuming it's mainly because they're using a different build of Synapse, which is probably the case. Either that or they're just extremely lucky. And this bug has gotten me killed so many times in so many different games, it's not even funny. Well, yeah, it kind of is. But the only way to fix it on the fly is to keep spamming whatever button is, you know, stuck, stuck, and it'll unstick it. However, this is not acceptable. This was brought to my attention by Zakara Tube on my uh, my Razor Tartarus three month update video. He told me I was mistaken about the issues I was having with my Tartarus, stating that the issues I had were not reliability issues with the D-pad, but the software that was used to customize this thing. At first, I'm gonna be honest, I was a bit of a dick. I'm not someone who likes to be told I'm wrong much or often. I haven't got the whole YouTube thing figured out yet, look, leave me be. But it linked me to a video by a, uh, a fellow tech tuber by the name of Draxel Tech. Drex. He owns a couple of Razer keypads, and he actually found a workaround for this issue, and you're a godsend dude, I'm gonna leave your video in the description, go sub to him, everything, all that good stuff. There's also a forum that was started that he linked in his, uh, his comment section that actually has a Razer representative in the forums talking to people, which is cool. This issue's a year old though. This issue's been brought up many, many times on Razer's support forums before, and no one's ever, like, batted an eye up until about December of 2020. I was experiencing this issue in June and July. I wasn't even using the Tartarus to, like, a heavy extent at that point either. I was more so using it casually, and when I noticed it, I just, I didn't really care. So, yeah, even though people are working to get this issue resolved, I think it still needs to be brought up and talked about. And it sucks, because I can't really recommend this keypad to anyone under any circumstance because of Drax's workaround. You really can't say anything right when you're recording a video, can you? What I meant to say is I can't really recommend this keypad under any circumstances, even with Drax's workaround. Retard. It's the only workaround I'm currently aware of that works, but it requires you to both A, completely uninstall Razer Synapse, so any profiles or RGB with any other Razer products you own, all that's gone, unless you have onboard memory, which a lot of Razer devices don't have that. On top of this, the software he recommends, which is called Rewast, is a paid software. So you have to pay for a software after spending, you know, 80, 90 bucks on this keypad, and then you have to pay for a software after to get it to work without bugs or issues in the way. So you guys are still selling this product that has, that, that, that comes with issues. That's like buying a brand new car, completely missing a part, completely missing the passenger seat, just gone. Nowhere to be found. But CUDA, the software's cheap. It's only six bucks for the base version and 20 for the full version. Why are you so upset? Why are you complaining? You realize once you buy this keypad and then you buy this software and do this workaround, you're paying for Razer's issues. Razer's issues have now become your issues. This has nothing to do with me saying like the, the workaround is bad or that you shouldn't do it. I'm not talking shit about Drax's workaround. What I'm talking about is the fact that you're paying for a brand new keypad from this company and it is it it, it 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 comes with issues. That's not acceptable. How much is Razer worth? Four point nine billion dollars. And even though your company has a, a net worth of almost five billion dollars, I'm still forced to buy a separate software that has nothing to do with you guys to use your keypad because of your lazy attitude towards software. Razer has always been lazy with their software. You know the UI is fun. It's it's fun to navigate through. It's an easy software to use when there aren't bugs in the way of that. Moving on to my last point, um, there are some reliability issues with the Tartarus, which is why mine looks so beat up and all the cinematics you guys are seeing. Yeah, it's because I, I had to do a lot of repairs myself. I had to dismantle this thing and try to fix my D-pad. It still isn't working properly. The D-pad has these, uh, these, these mouse click thingies, these mouse switches underneath it that are not reliable, and they also aren't all that, that good. I got to experience them firsthand when I took this thing apart, and they feel really cheap. On top of that, the palm rest is extremely difficult to take off. I'm, I'm gonna break it. You fucking.
Muppet. The mecha mechanical, their mecha membrane switches that Razer has are not, you know, built for longevity, so you might have issues with those. But none of the issues I have with this keypad come anywhere near the software issues, because the software issues basically make this thing unplayable if you're like a competitive player, or even if you're a casual player. I was playing Minecraft Survival! Am I being too harsh? I don't feel like I'm being too harsh. I feel like I'm being just as harsh as I should. I feel like I, you guys could tell me if I'm being too harsh, right? So, um, I hate to say this, but I don't, because I recently had this one video blow the fuck up. Thank you guys. I'm going to unlist and get rid of my Razer Tartarus V2 videos from playlist and everything. That's going to be done before this video's up, so those videos aren't going to be findable anymore. I'm going to make those videos public again when the who Steve Zero there has a fix for this. I keep an eye on the forums that Drax has linked in his comment section every single day. I'm dead serious. In fact, on Google Chrome right now, I have a bookmark for it so I can check it every single day. So when there is an update and there is a fix for this, I'll be the first to know about it. I'll also end up putting my reviews back up. I might even make a new one because, you know, maybe I'll, I'll be able to get another one of these. I need to buy a new Tartarus. This one's falling the fuck apart. But I can't really keep recommending this or putting video or keeping videos up that are recommending this because this keypad literally has issues that straight up, full stop, should prevent anyone from buying this. I think I'm just gonna end this video here. Jesus Christ, I am gonna get more angry. And you know, I feel like that's why a lot of these videos get dislikes. I, I come off usually very emotionally charged about these things, and that's just me. However, while I do live in the emotions that I, I had when I first got really upset about this, I live in these emotions in my videos to make them a little more, not eye grabby, but so I can keep people's attention throughout. But I promise to God, Every single product I've made a don't buy video on, I've felt like genuinely deserved it. Oh, I just hate this product and I want to make sure people don't buy it. That was never a, a, a thing for me. I just make these videos so people know not to waste their money or so that they know about these issues ahead of time so they don't run into issues when they have the product and have to, you know, go through weeks or even months of workarounds. So yeah, don't buy the Razer Charters V2 right now. When the fix is published for it, which I hope it is. I have faith that they're actually working on a fix. I'll uh, I'll be sure to make a post about it. I'll leave it down in the comment section below. I might even make a new video. And before I go, I would just like to say, thank you guys a shit ton on the recent performance for the channel. Ton of subs, ton of views lately, ton of everything. Like four times more than what I was getting like a, a week and a half ago. You guys are fucking awesome. I've really been enjoying doing the videos lately. I've been having a ton of fun. It's just me. It's when I want to do things and I release videos when I feel like they're done. But Jesus Christ, the comments, uh, I really need to stop letting the negativity of the internet get to me so much. I'm so bad with that, but fuck me, man. No one's watching at this point. Let me just shout out members. I'll probably start doing this a bit earlier in the video or make it a little bit more entertaining so people actually like want to sit through this because I, I don't know. I want to do a lot more with members. I really appreciate you guys. Big shout out to our God tier controller player members, JG, Waterless, God, Exo Casper, Noah Jacques, Ninzaki, Maynard Lano, Young, Rockstar, Mr. Deadeye, Jinja, Billy Rob Organs, Lincoln Shepard, and our newest member, Wolfie. I'd love to give you guys a, another great big thank you, and I hope the rest of you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Don't need to say it. I'm just gonna take my uh, I'm just gonna take my microphone and leave. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.